Good morning, I'm Dr. Marta Ibar from Oftalvis in Madrid. I'm a cataract refractive and glaucoma surgeon, and I'm very glad to be here, and I have to thank BBI for the invitation to present this study, where we have two fantastic classification uh, machines. Centurion, that is now the gold standard, and RevoSmart. Uh, with RevoSmart, I really had a good, good time. I was very surprised because I had a very nice surgery. So these are my financial disclosures. And as we all know, I mean, we are cataract surgeons, and what do we want? We want to go home happy, because we've had a very nice day quiet, where we had all these cataract surgeries go smoothly, um, with our anterior chambers stable, with no complications, and what we want is surgical effic efficiency and safety. So our goal was, uh, in this case, to compare Centurion that has uh, what we all know, uh, control over the IOP and the search through uh, the active fluidics, uh, fluidics system. And we wanted to compare it to the RevoSmart that also uses um, a way to control the IOP through the uh, agile fluidics, that it's um, very close to what um, Alcon, uh, the, the Alcon device, uh, how it controls the IOP. So the purpose of our study was to compare the surgical efficiency between these two phagomusification fac systems. This is Centurion and this is Revo. And these are the parameters. With both machines, we go through 2.2 millimeters um, on the main incision. And um, uh, Revo works just like with longitudinal uh, pulses, while Centurion uses longitudinal and torsional. Myself specifically, I use, I, I use with Centurion just torsional. And then um, here in this chart, you have all the parameters that, that uh, you have with both machines. So um, we did a prospective study of 301 eyes in two sites. Uh, it was Oftalvist Madrid, that was myself, and then Oftalvist Alicante with Dr. Paz Orts. Um, we just selected patients with cataracts and the exclusion criteria was all kinds of complicated cataracts, for instance, subluxated or traumatic or white Morganian. The rest of the cataracts could be included. So these are the parameters that um, Dr. Paz or Sin Alicante and me, we used. Um, you can see that for both of us and both machines are mostly the same, but still, when uh, the technicians, uh, the engineers from uh, BBI come to your clinic and it's the first time that you're going to start to use it, this, this machine, they will see how you do your surgery, what kind of things or your tricks, trips, whatever you do while you're, you're having surgery, you're doing your surgery, and they know what, how to adjust your, your preferences to the parameters of the, of the machine. So it was like a very smooth process where we got there and then they selected my personal parameters that you have here. I like to use um, slow, uh, sorry, low IOPs because I have many glaucoma patients. As I said at the beginning, I'm also a glaucoma specialist. So I work uh, with uh, Centurion with 40 millimeters of mercury. And then you can see through all the steps how the uh, vacuum and, uh, and fluid uh, vary depending on the, on the face. Uh, we have uh, then uh, for anterior vitrectomy a special one, but we didn't have to use it either with Centurion or, or with Revo throughout the study because we didn't have um, surgical complications. So to see our, to, um, the variable uh, use time, we took it from the display of the Centurion because, you know, as you see there, at, by the end of the surgery, we took that, uh, that parameter. These are my personal parameters with Revo that I was telling you that the engineers helped me out when I was uh, adjusting Revo to me and me to Revo. And uh, we can also get the ultrasound time here, as you can see, from the display of the Revo, of the Revo machine. And then the total estimated fluid aspirated, in the case of Centurion, you can also get it there from the display. But with Revo, we don't have it in the display. So we used the precision balance and we measured the weight of the bag. And then uh, we had to, I mean, we made, measured the weight of the bag and the uh, liquid used for priming. And those were uh, plus and then uh, subtracted from the total weight. So we had the final fluid aspirated to compare with Centurion. So these were the results. Uh, 
we expected both machines to be just alike because uh, the feeling interoperatively for the surgeon is quite the same. But we found out that, um, for instance, for the whole sample, because I do, and Dr. Path Orch, uh, does as well, we uh, some cataracts, just the cataract, regular cataract, and many of them with femtosecond laser-assisted cataract surgery. So the whole sample means non-flux and flux. And we got um, 18, uh, uh, on the ultrasound, 18 seconds of ultrasound time for for uh, Rebo, while we got almost 40 for Centurion. And the same was with uh, non-flux. Still, the time, ultrasound time, was a little bit higher in non-flux than compared to whole sample, because as you all know, when we use femtosecond, the uh, ultrasound time decreases. So still, it was uh, lower for Rebo. And regarding the, t regarding, um, uh, the total uh, ultrasound time and fluid aspirated in relation to cataract rate. As you can see here in Centurion and Rico, in both cases, the hardest the nucleus ultrasound you're going to use. But still with Rebo, the, the uh, values were lower than with Centurion. So to conclude, um, the basic of any uh, cataract removal is to achieve the maximum efficacy uh, maintaining the safety. So this um, device, Rebo, has, been, uh, has shown throughout these 300 cases of cataract that it's capable to be um, as efficacious and safe, and safe as the gold standard that right now is the Centurion Vision System. So thank you very much. See you soon.